uh, Hobie Cat upper uh, rigging here, I guess, or four rigging. Is that a way to say it? Uh, upper four stay here. Replace this uh, with the old one. Looks like it's got some kind of, it's like brass or bronze or something like that. It's, it's developed a patina over time. Um, the old stuff wasn't really showing any signs of wear. I'm going to keep it as a spare. It actually looks like it's in pretty good condition. So that's the uh, the upper four stay and the, the regular four stay. Uh, and then we've also got the uh, the old jib halyard here. Again, similar condition on kind of that crimp. Let's see it. Focus on it. It's really interesting. Patina. Anyways, moved the uh, the rope part of the uh, jib halyard over to the new piece here. Um, Bowline knot. Um, the uh, the block here. I had to pull out these uh, cotter pins. Um, ended up replacing them with three thirty second by three quarter. It looks like the originals might have been one inch, but the uh, size is the same. So three thirty second stainless steel cotters. Um, upper four stay. This is all from Murray's. Um, I cleaned up the block a little bit, took it out, and um, buffed off any um, any kind of buildup with uh, a metal scrubbing. Um, pneumatic tool that I've got. And then I also buffed it with uh, something else to smooth it down. It looks pretty good. I didn't have any issues rotating before. Uh, pulled these pins out, replaced the cotter. Left the, reused the clevis pins. Uh, new uh, jib halyard from Murray's. Has the uh, kind of the quick attach, which is really nice. And then the uh, the regular four stay um, actually is coated now, which is kind of cool. Um, so both the uh, the new bridles, those are five thirty seconds bridles, so a little bit bigger, um, will match the uh, upper four stay. I'm gonna reuse the uh, the line. It looks like it's in good enough condition. Next up will be the. Uh, Shrouds.